Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just got a word in my spirit that I did not even have time to prepare to come on video. So I've just come to lock myself in the office and to deliver this word. Many times we get up on a daily basis and all that we think about are the things that we have not yet achieved and the things that we need to get done and we become overwhelmed. But if we would take a moment to think about what God has done for us and the protection that he provides as outlined in Psalm 91, then we would recognize that instead of worrying and complaining, we ought to give God thanks continually. As Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is a heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith God. If you could see some of what is going on in the group chat, if you could see some of what is going on in the private messages, if you could see the conversation against you in the WhatsApp groups, if you could hear some of the conversations and the plans against you on the telephone, then you would begin to recognize that it is God that is protecting you. It is not yourself or your strength, but no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Them. Don't be afraid to keep repeating this Psalm 54 verse 17. Let it be yours. And remember the 23rd Psalm. Remember Psalm 23 verse 3 says, He restoreth my soul. So after he curtails and after he stops the weapons, he restores your soul. He leads you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And verse 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Because Psalm 23 verse 4 says, For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then God doesn't just stop at comforting you. He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He anoints your head with oil and your cup runs over. So they begin to wonder now how it is that after all of their plans and their schemes and their attacks, how comes you're still smiling? How comes you still look so good? Because God is with you. Remember the 23rd Psalm and it ends with surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Stay with God. Lean on God. Don't look to any other source. Don't let anybody introduce you to any source that is not God. Because God Almighty is the one that's protecting you. He's the one that's stopping the attack. He is the one that is silencing their tongues. He is the one that is stopping the attack of the enemy. He's the one that is destroying the weapons. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And no tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall stand. You wonder how it is that some of the people that have done you wrong are just falling apart. You wonder how it is that some of the people that have done you wrong are looking how they expected you to look. It is God. So instead of murmuring and complaining, begin to worship. Let worship be your lifestyle. Let praise be your habit. Let the word of God be your food. And let prayer become an addiction. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.